Neil Yonker. Good afternoon on this blustery Bebas day. Could you please just sort of tell us who you are? Why are we doing this video? Well, I'm Neil Yonker and I live in Basque in Sports. I'm one of the founding members of the Basque in Sports Archery. And we're doing this video to tell you what we've been up to in preparation for the cancel autumn 2020 art routes, which you know for what reasons has been cancelled, COVID-19. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit of the art that I have been doing and um, have done in the past as an introduction. Okay, well, before we get there, you said something just now, you're one of the founding members of the Art Route. Would you like to take a moment just to tell us sort of like how it started and how long it's been going on? Well, I came walking down the mountain and I bumped into one of the other artists who lived in the village. And she said, hey, Neil, we should start something. I think there are more artists in the village than dairy farmers. And I said, are you serious? And we got together and we started talking and we started this thing. and the name Art Group came up, even though it's not an art group that's open all the time. We only have open studios twice a year. It's just four days a year, really. But it's been a hit. It's been more than 10 years. And we've had great crowds, people who come and sit on the strip and won't leave. It's the best conversation. And we get to clean our houses and gardens and do a body of work. So you get to see 10 artists in their workspace with new work and um, it's been a hit and we still love doing it and that's why we're bringing it to the online. Excellent. Won't you please tell us a little bit about who you are as an artist, where you've come from and where you're at now? That's a well, big I'm a training master and I left art and went into the business world for too long and I couldn't really get my groove going so I started painting the landscape plain air, walking outside, painting what I see, and that really got me loosened up again, and I still do that, I can't stop doing it. So the paintings that I've got up are of recent um, travels to Istanbul over here, but mainly about the southern Overberg and specifically Basque of the Sports, where I am constantly painting as a practice. So, I have the painting bag with me all the time in the car and I'll take um, impromptu moments like that to paint on the hook or I'll go on my bicycle on a dedicated uh, off-street paint or even where I take a combi and do a painting trip where I'll do a dozen paintings over a couple of days. And it's just one of those things that um, is a part of me now and I keep doing it regardless of whether the crowds come or whatever the sales are, that doesn't matter. I love painting outdoors. So what I'm ex 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 excited about is this particular painting here, which was the first one on the lockdown, where mm -hmm. I had to now make do with just painting my garden, which I see every day and take for granted, which is an awesome Space with a lot of greenery and a lot of moving leaves, which is very difficult to paint. And that's probably why I've been avoiding it because it's very hard. And um, I usually go for the mountains where, where, where I get out of it all this. But this one was my veranda, and I'm very, very happy with it. So that's what I'm working on at the moment while carrying on with the sculpture that I've been doing this year. I've been foraging wild clay making um, organic, intuitive objects. Uh, I went camping with my daughter and we found all sorts of interesting shells and they inspired this lot of stuff over here. Um, and and they, that's how I generally work. I'll, I'll make smaller pieces, I'll, I'll push fire them and I'll work through them and see what, what works, what doesn't work and then work toward a bigger piece. Um, this was the last art route. If you were here, you would have seen uh, a couple of heads that I did that um, then grew into a whole new medium of felt, which is wool, compressed wool. And I started making these clam shapes in felt as well this year. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm still busy doing 
these um, intuitive explorations of um, myself in nature, really. A couple of larger pieces have come out, so you'll be seeing pictures of that. Uh, it is also on my website. So if someone were to say, what, an online art opening, what would you say? I'd say for sure I'm going to sign in for that because I'm sitting at home in lockdown. You have a whole reference um, at your disposal as well, and so you, you could have quite a rich experience uh, attending an online exhibition. So I'm looking forward to hearing feedback from from the Basket of Sports Archives online. Neil, I think that it's going to be a very interesting experience. And what I also think it might do is open up more conversation with the artist. Yeah, it's definitely um, interactive. Uh, a lot of online stuff is not interactive, where you get to watch somebody on YouTube, or you just slide through the slideshows on their website or something like that. And um, I don't think any artist is um, going to not open the door if you want to have a chat to them and interact with them online. So let's see what happens. I think we're, well, everybody knows we're living in, in exciting times. And I think we as backwater artists are actually veterans of lockdown. We're specialists in isolation. A lot of us have chosen this more than a decade ago already. So it's not a shock to a lot of us. Um, in the village, We've been surviving like this for a long, long time, and um, not just surviving, we've been thriving. And this is a, maybe an example to those who are finding themselves in a concrete box. You don't have to live like that. You can make another plan. Bam. <laughs> yeah. Living proof right here. Thanks, Neil. Yep. I think that that concludes our interview unless there's something that you would like to add to those who want to check us out Artridge weekend well i'd just like to emphasize the last bit again which is interaction is key connection is what it's all about today and ironically it's the internet that's bringing us together where a lot of us have felt alienated by this medium i just engaging and making simple applications work for you we're actually connecting more than ever before and i'm very 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 excited about it well we look forward to connecting with you soon on the art route next Thank time you. cheers cheerio bye bye Uh, Lenny, I think we need to stop there for now. Hope to speak to you Lots soon. of love. Bye. Bye. Lots of family. Bye.